What's up YouTube, Doomwick here. Welcome to another modern video on the channel. I got something really spicy for you today. So for those of you who don't know, um, we do donation decks live on the Twitch stream every Thursday. And this was a deck list that was submitted to me by one of my good friends, Voice Gaming, on Twitch. And as you can see in front of you, we got a whole lot of Planeswalkers and a whole bunch of mana. So the general consensus of this deck is utilizing mana acceleration from Arbor Elf, Birds of Paradise, and Utopia Sprawl. The reason we're playing Birds uh, is because we are a five-color deck. Along with Oath of Nyssa, which is... Obviously really good in a deck that has this many Planeswalkers because it's effectively, it's as good as Ponder in this deck. You know, the only thing it doesn't hit is Utopia Sprawl. And the cool thing about Oath of Nyssa is it allows you to just like aggressively fetch basic forest because Oath lets you cast Planeswalkers off of any mana. So that's kind of cool as well. And then once you get past the mana and the Oath of Nissas, the rest of the deck is a lot of Planeswalkers. So we got Renin 6, which is good with a bunch of fetch lands. One thing I will note about Renin 6 in this deck list the ultimate doesn't actually do anything because we don't have any spells. I thought about putting just like a random lightning bolt in here just as for, you know, once you've locked up the game with, you know, we'll, we'll talk about the lock pieces after. But, you know, just something to be able to win the game with Renin 6. I don't know if that's actually worth it, but. Uh, and then we got four Teferi Time Reveler, busted card. Four Dovin Hand of Control. Not quite as, you know, a busted card, but Dovin's actually kind of cool because it does two things really importantly, which you'll be able to see in the video. It's it's actually, it came up quite a bit. Uh, it taxes your opponent, so when you're on the play and you play a turn two Dovin Hand of Control, it's kind of like when you're playing humans and you had turn two Thalia. It just makes a lot of your opponent's spells cost more mana, and the nice thing about Dovin is... Your deck is generally pretty, you know, a little bit clunky, right? You have a lot of, as you can see, the curve. You have a lot of threes and a lot of fours in terms of your threats. So when you play Dovin on the play and your opponent is like kind of, you're taxing your opponent to make it so they can only cast one spell per turn. They're also casting weaker spells because they have to, you know, their one mana spells now cost two mana. So they're a little bit behind. And then you can just press your advantage over like every turn by playing more Planeswalkers, more Planeswalkers. And you just kind of bury your opponent in Planeswalker activations. So that's kind of what Dovin's good for. And, you know, the prevent damage did come up quite a bit. So it's not the most, in, it's not the flashiest card, but it's really nice in what it does for this deck. We got uh, two copies of Narset Parter of Veils. I kind of feel like I might just want more copies of Narset and less Ashiok's in the main deck, but the split's not too bad because Ashiok is good in certain other matchups, but Narset's really good at helping you find more gas, and the static ability is also quite good because people, a lot of people playing with Mishra's Bobble. Uh, oh, I guess it doesn't work against Mishra's Bobble because they can just sack it on their turn, but like Spreading Seas, Archmage's Charm, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of people playing those cards. Teferi. So... It, it, the static ability is good, and it helps you dig. Ashiok, the static ability, I think, is more important on Ashiok than the other ability, although there is, you know, a lot of, like, Delirium-based decks and Lurus decks. But the static ability is good because people play with Urza Saga. So Urza Saga cannot fetch on Chapter 3, so against Hammer Time, you get to cut them off of more hammers because they can't Stoneforge, they can't... Um, What's the other one? Steel Shaper's Gift, and they can't Urza Saga for it. So they're very limited on how many hammers they actually have as long as you can keep Ashiok in play. And then we get to our win condition here, in air quotes, Karn the Great Creator. And as you can see with our sideboard, we're kind of all in on the Karn. We'll go over each of these when we get to the sideboard. But four copies of Karn the Great Creator. Static ability is really good against Treasures and Hammer Time. Uh, the plus is, you know, good once you've gotten to the sideboard, like Liquid Metal Coating. And then the minus is what you're ultimately winning the game with. One copy of Rascal Golgari Queen. I'm not a big fan of this one. It's just like, you know, kind of fills a role. I think it's probably better as just playing the third Jace. But it does have some added value being able to kill like Sigarda's aid and that kind of stuff, which Jace can't do. And then two copies of the best Planeswalker of all time, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Not much to say there. There probably should be more copies of Jace, though. Um, and then when we get to the sideboard, we have effectively what is a three-card sideboard. Because, well... <coughs> It's actually a two-card sideboard because you gotta keep you always gotta keep one bridge in the sideboard for Karn. So we have two ensnaring bridges that we're allowed to bring in, and then 13 cards that we have to keep in our sideboard. So we got a Chalice of the Void to find off of Karn, really good against one drops and um like rhinos. You can Karn for you can you can even go turn one, elf, turn two, Utopia Sprawl, Karn, get Chalice on zero against Crashing Footfalls. That's pretty hard for them to beat. We got a Worm Coil Engine, and we need an actual threat. 
We got a knowledge pool, which a lot of you might not do, that's got a lot of text, you can read it there, but basically if you have knowledge pool and Teferi Time Raveler in play at the same time, your opponent is locked out of playing any spells, because when they go to cast a spell, it gets exiled with knowledge pool, and they have to, they get to go to try to cast a spell from the pool. The problem is Teferi says, Static says they can only, your opponents can only cast spells as though they can cast a sorcery. So as long as there's any triggered ability on the stack, they are not allowed to cast spells. So Knowledge Pool plus Teferi is just a stone cold lock them out of the game. They, they can't cast any more spells. God Pharaoh Statue, uh, another sort of win condition-esque type card. You, it's pretty good with Karn if you, uh, you know, if your opponent, like, if you have a bridge already in play and you can't attack them with Worm Coil, it's a way to win the game when you have a bridge in play. Teferi's Puzzle Box, which is a card that that uh, locks them out with Narset, because Teferi's Puzzle Box says, you know, on, on their turn, they basically Wheel of Fortune, or no, it's Telerian Wins. So they basically take the cards, they put them on the bottom, and they draw that many cards. But Narset prevents your opponent from drawing extra cards. So Teferi's Puzzle Box plus Narset, also kind of a lock against them. Uh, Torpor Orb, really good against Elementals, and um, mostly just here for the uh, for the Elementals. Liquid Metal Coating, really good with Karn. Helps your, you, you can blow up lands with Karn. You can, you know, coating their land and then Karn their land. That's now a zero mana artifact, so it blows up. Heart of Kirin, which is something that never came up in the League, but it's kind of here to mostly here to pressure Planeswalkers. Damping Sphere for Amulet and Tron, Pithing Needle for opposing Planeswalkers, although we have a lot of good Planeswalkers in our deck, like Karn, Teferi, and Ren, so Pithing Needle might be a little awkward in some spots, but it's it's here. It, you can also name like Ink Moth, Nexus, that kind of stuff. Graph Digger's Cage for Yogmoth and Dredge, and Snaring Bridge, really insane against any creature deck, any deck trying to attack with large-ish creatures, and then a Tormod Script for Dredge. So, that's the deck list. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the record. I did, we did play this live on the stream. And I did, uh, you know, some people may already know the record. I won't spoil it for those of you who don't know, but I will say it's an interesting league and I think you guys are going to like this one. So be sure to smash that like button and I will see you back here in just a little bit for round number one. Uh, oh, this text mana base is perfect. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Okay, this is going on Twitter. I like how this is my first hand with the deck. Nice sample hand. This is, this is a beautiful sample hand to start. I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, I guess I keep this. Put back one of the shock lands. Because I can just go basic into basic because I have Oath, so I can cast all my plane soccer with Oath. Hopefully we spike a Renin 6. That'd be nice. We get a Karn. I'll take Karn. <laughs> Is it better than yours? Oh, with the sample hand? I mean, you had some nice sample hands too, I'm not gonna lie. You had some nice sample hands with the, uh, the Blood Crypt Faithful Mending Hands. Or Spire Bluff Canal Priest of Fell Rates. That mana base was something else. That mana base was something else. Let me tell you that, Cathal. I got you, Rob. I got you. <clears throat> Opponents like WTF, hello? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you didn't think that you were going to see these cards when you thought seized me. Match together in 10 minutes. Well, still got four wins with it, you know. This deck honestly could play Blood Moon because you have Oath to cast all your shit anyways. Or the Hammer. How good is our Hammer matchup? Alright. Thoughtseize Bug. Classic. This makes all their stuff cost one more, right? Okay. What's the ability on it? Prevent all damage that be dealt to and dealt by target permanent opponent controls. Eh, the ability's not great. I guess the ability is decent against Hammer if they have exactly one creature in play, because you're never you're just never worried about them hammering you. Yeah, they have a second creature. Damn it. The lack of nickel bolus. Which one? Seven mana or four mana? I assume you're talking well, I guess you can't cast the four mana one off of this, right? Because it's a creature. Alright, let's go this on blue, I guess. It doesn't really matter what color we choose because we have the Oath of Nyssa, but... 
I'm gonna really hope that we can survive to bridge, but I think I'm not gonna use the Dovin. Because again, if I Yeah, if I like tick down on this. I guess my question is, is there a reason not to use it? Right? Because like either I'm preventing one, you know what I mean? I'm ticking down to prevent I, I don't know. It probably doesn't matter. <coughs> I draw a land. Can I card for a one mana card that does something? Uh, Chalice on zero. Needle. Cage doesn't do anything. Yeah, not much. Not much. Oh, the five mana one. Hmm. Alright, Dovin's on three. Okay, I drew a land. Hmm. Now what? So what I could do is I could go play Karn, get Needle, uh, cast Needle before activating Dovin. They're going to respond to activate Saga. Then I could Dovin on the token. And then I would pass with, they have a token that can't deal damage. They have two one-power creatures. I have a Dovin on two and a Karn on three. Is that a good spot to be in? The problem with doing that is then they just probably just attack the Karn for two, and then I can't minus it again. So I feel like that's not necessarily the best spot. Well, then I get nothing else out of the Karn, right? Because they're just going to attack the Karn to one if I do that. The other alternative is... Like, Vraska, down tick on a creature, Dovin, down tick on another creature, but then they just get to make a Saga token and kill one of my Planeswalkers, probably the Vraska. Do we die if we get Bridge? Well, not unless they have Paladin, right? I guess even if they had Paladin, we still wouldn't die, technically. Like, that was the other thing I was thinking about, is just getting Bridge and hoping to survive and just slamming the Bridge next turn, which I think is pretty reasonable, too. You know? Well, aid wouldn't do it because they this dies, they get the hammer in play, and then they cast the aid, so aid wouldn't necessarily do it by itself. They would need aid plus hammer. I kind of think I just want to go Karn, down tick, and get a bridge and just, just kind of pray a little bit. I don't know. Like, the Needle is really nice because they have the second Saga, too. Ah, uh, this Needle is really appealing. This is really tough. That was my initial line, was get the Needle, and then just dove in on the, on the Saga token. But then Karn goes to one... And they get a Hammer... Well, no, 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 that is good. Okay, no, I changed my mind. I like that line. Because the the thing is, even if they get Hammer, even if they get Hammer with this and play Paladin, I still have the Karn in place, so they can't equip the Hammer. Yeah, I like this line a lot better, I think. The more I think about it, I think I like this line more. I think this line is better. Also, the problem with getting Bridge is I still have to keep a card in my hand, right? Sort of... But, like, the problem is... Okay, so here's the thing, right? If they find Sigardus Aid and they already... Like, if they have if they had Aid Hammer in hand, they can actually attack under the bridge with their 1-2 creature and then in combat hammer the thing. So bridge is, like, not really a, a hard lock against them, you know? I feel like this is better. It's It's close. It's really close. Let me 
they got drum. <clears throat> That's also a nice thing to play, play about playing Karn, is if they if they don't have a white source in their hand, they can't get white mana because of the Karn, right? Because they get the drum and it doesn't do anything. And I can actually keep the Karn in play, even if they attack it for two, I can go Karn uptick, Vraska downtick on the construct, Dovin, or I guess, yeah, I can kill two blockers with the Dovin and the Vraska. You know what I mean? They got a hammer. Makes sense. Right, they can also get an Ornithopter off of the Saga as well, right? Which is the other issue. Which means even if I go Hellbent, they can still attack with Ornithopter and then hammer it. Excuse me, and then hammer it. Yeah. So, like, Bridge is good, but it's not like a it's not like a hard lock. And they have the Saga in play to get the Ornithopter, right? Which is another issue. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay. Uh, now what? Well, I can't down tick. Up tick on needle gives me a blocker. So I could go Jace down tick here, Dovin on something, up tick on needle, then I have a Dovin on one, a Karn on two, and a Jace on two with a blocker. And this is dead, and one of these is prevented. That's a pretty good spot, right? Maybe it's better to play the Vraska and do the same thing, kill the token. Yeah, I think I like that better. So Vraska, down tick here. Up tick on the needle. So blow this up. Up tick on needle. Down tick on Memnites. Oh no, I, oh, I should have down tick on the, on the stun forge. I'm an idiot. Fuck. Yeah, because I can just trade with the Memnite. Should have downticked on the Stoneforge. And then probably trade it with the Memnite. Because this Saga's dying anyways. I don't really need to keep the Needle in play. It's only on creatures. You can't uptick on creatures. So they get a Memnite. They kind of still have to attack Karn, right? Well, they got a Bob. All right. Punishment for playing for the Vraska over the Jace, huh? I guess I could just let Karn die. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let Karn die at this point. I definitely should have plussed on the Stoneforge Mystic with the Dovin, because I could have traded for a Memnite. Okay, good thing I let the Karn die. They had a third Saga. Yeah, Blood Moon main deck might make a lot of sense, because you have Oath and Birds to cast your Planeswalkers anyways. So main deck Blood Moon might be good. Yeah, they're playing the Colossus Hammer. Okay. Ren and six, huh? All right, let's make a mana. Let's uptick Sack the Forest. Okay, play Beacon. I think I'm going to... Ren, down tick on the Bob. Maybe just Brainstorm with Jace. Let me just brainstorm with Chase, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. You think Fate Seal? Oh, to keep the Jace in play? Because if I down tick on the Bob, they can only attack Jace for four. Yeah, and then I could brainstorm next turn. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Look at the cards. Use the ability. You may put that card on the bottom. Do I want to do that? No. It's confusing as hell. It hate Fate Seal us. Uh, I don't know. I think Fate Seal them is fine. Well, I don't have a I don't have a wrath to draw. My deck is mana and planeswalkers. I don't have a wrath. 
There's no wrath in my deck. <laughs> That's my deck. My deck is mana and planeswalkers. There's no wraths. <laughs> I guess the wrath is Karn for Bridge. Is that the wrath, kind of? Oh, we're just dead. Alright, well. Guess it didn't matter. Alright, I have two bridges to bring in, because I have three in my sideboard, and I need to keep one in for Karn, and I'm going to cut Ashiok. Cool. That was easy. Mm -mm -mm. It's literally just mana and planeswalkers. That's all the deck is. Yeah, this matchup seems kind of impossible. <clears throat> Not impossible, but it's it's rough. Ashiok turns off Saga and Stoneforge. Would you rather have Ashiok than Narset? Maybe. Narset's kind of sus, right? Because they don't draw cards off Bob. So Narset doesn't even stop Bob, which is like their only thing that draws extra cards. Mm -mm -mm. Ashiok probably has more text than, than our set. Mm. Alright, Pete. Not gonna mulligan this. I'm gonna lead on Oath. In case I spike a 3 minute walker. I also might just jam the bridge on too. This is a pretty good hand. I don't know if this is the nuts, but it's a pretty good hand. Oh, I just cast the wrong card. Okay, I'm a dumbass. I thought I clicked on the uh, thought I clicked on the sprawl. Okay, this is bad. I could have sworn I clicked on the sprawl. <laughs> the master flex. Thank you for the sixteen months. Much appreciated. Hope you're able to get one, buddy. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I'll take that draw step. Uh, forest, sprawl here, name blue, play this, your turn. Mm -mm -mm. Where am I, he says. Uh, you're in the Doom Extreme, I guess. Is that the answer you were looking for? Are you lost? Okay, so we can go. I have two, four, five, six mana. Mm, I can get coding. I could also Tef bounce their saga. I could just go Tef bounce saga play bridge, right? That's probably my best line. Then I can card next turn. Chalice on one. The problem with Chalice on 1 is they can still vial in the hammer if they have Paladin, but I guess it forces them to have Paladin. I kind of think I like Teferi Bounce, Bounce Saga play Bridge. My Bridge and Tef Bounce, Tef Tass to Stoneforge. I don't really think I care about having the Tef in play, it's more so just the tempo, you know? Like, I don't actually give a shit about the Teferi. All things considered. I just want to tempo them out. Or at least try, you know? I'm running out of basics. Mm, it can't equip it in any way. Oh, because I have the Karn, right? So if I Karn Chalice, they can't equip because of the Karn. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I can always just Karn Chalice next turn, right? Alright, it's very dead. Yeah, maybe Karn Chalice is better. Not sure. Turn of the land. So, if I Karn Chalice this turn, 
they get to put card into two, but then I can tick up on the bridge. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's fine, right? Two, four. Yeah, I think I like that. We play a tap land. Your turn. Mm -mm -mm. It's like an attack card to two, but then next turn I can go uptick on bridge to maybe prevent an attack. Yeah, this should be okay. How does this not have a Johnny Vengeance in it? Yeah, this also could just be a Yorion deck, right? Probably should be, honestly. Mm, 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 mm. This is this is kind of scaring me. The reason this is scaring me is is because if they have Paladin, oh, I guess it doesn't matter because I just keep the card in play, right? As long as I keep the card in play, it doesn't matter. Oh, I drew a second card too. Okay, that might just about lock it up. Should I get a second bridge? It's probably safe, right? In case they have ending for the first bridge. You want a coding? I kind of want to just get bridge with this. No, I guess coding is fine, because then I can just go card coding, start blowing up their lands. Yeah, okay, let's just get coding. I could even hold this back, too. Yeah, this is probably fine. Oops, hang on. I'm going to crack my fetch first. Yeah, this is good. I should play the coding first. I don't know if it matters. But yeah, this might just be close to a lock. Yeah, they've conceded. All right, cool. All right, we figured out how to beat them, chat. Just get the lock. Assemble the lock. <clears throat> Assemble the lock. The lock has been assembled. I've I've demonstrated a lock. Is the 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 chokehold? All right, game three on the draw. On the draw. I mean, I got mana. And it's a fairy. Uh, London Mulligan. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. Uh, it's loose. Don't get me wrong. It's loose. But I'm going to keep it. Rathati is proof. Kind of. Because we have two birds. Where's our Nicol Bolas? You're the second person to ask about Nicol Bolas. I don't know what I'd play over it. Play it over though, you know. Getting at the trials, maybe. We'd have to cut some of our fire design cards. I was under the impression that fire design cards were busted. Oh, that's true. If we're playing Yorion, then we got us. We got room for as much as we want. Yorion doesn't actually do anything in our deck, though. Because if we're deck, if our deck is all mana and planeswalkers, we ori on the planeswalkers back EOT, but we can't activate them. activate them again, right? So if our deck is literally all mana and planeswalkers, what is it actually doing? I guess it resets them too. Sure, sure, sure. So we get like minus Karn, play Yorion, yada yada. Eh, that's true. We have oath. All right, fine, fine, fine. We have oath. I hope they don't have Phyrexian Revoker on Birds of Paradise. Imagine if we got Phyrexian Revokered. That would have been cringe. Any Karth the Lion? No, we're not allowed to play anything but Mana and Planeswalkers. We're not allowed to do that. Ren and Six, huh? Uh... I Kinda wanna just go Ren, pay, kill their homie.
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna kill their homie. It's like pretty good if I draw a fetch land too. Just having the red in play. Maybe Jace is better. The problem with Jace is they get a card. But I guess Jace does like almost guarantee I hit my next land drop. It might have been a good Jace turn. Yeah, I guess that's fair. We, we're like we're giving them a card, but we're also getting a card from the Jace, so maybe it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Shadow Spear. Okay. I drew a stomping ground. So I can go. Hmm. I can go land, uptick, bridge, have two cards in hand, and they can't attack with the saga token, right? I mean I would die to um I would die to aid hammer, but I guess I would also die to... No, because I would have a blocker back, right? Yeah, so let's just, let's just do that. Let's go plus, play bridge. Because this means the construct can't attack, which is kind of nice. And then I have a blocker if they, if they shoot up the nexus. Stop asking me if I want to attack my birds. Can we, can we not do that? They also have Spear. I don't think they have enough to go Paladin, Spear, Animate. One, two, Float of Mana, Paladin, Animate. Oh, they do have enough. They have exactly enough, right? Yeah, they go Float Mana, use the mana, play Spear, tap Planes, tap Goblet Shrine, play Paladin, tap Drum, Animate Nexus. They have exactly enough. Mm. Oh, no, but then they can't attack through the bridge. Yeah, Paladin doesn't do anything against bridge. Right, that's the whole point of this. Paladin does nothing against Bridge. They have to have aid. Oh, but they could have aid instead of Paladin, right? Yeah, because it's eight, yeah, it's two man. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they need Sigurd as aid. Paladin does nothing. They chose Jace the Mind Sculptor, huh? Okay. It's a reasonable name. Oh yeah, they thought he's us, right? Yeah, they know about that. They know about they know our last two cards. I forgot that they thought he's me. Alright, runs down. <laughs> no, they did thought he's me. I just forgot about that. Okay, the Ren's dead. I don't actually give a shit about the Ren, so I don't really care about that. Oh. Uh, so I just Karn for Needle on Nexus. And they can't attack with anything. Sounds good to me. And it still feels so wasted on myself. Your turn. Can dove in the Ink Moth? I think I'd rather get the card in play now. I would have dove in the Ink Moth if I didn't draw the card, but I think this is better because it gets the card in play. We have another Saga, which is not bad. Alright, pick up Luris. They... Okay. So they have Lurus, one unknown. <laughs> yeah, go back to your Pokeball. Alright, we drew a fetch. So I have six mana with the Karn. Um... What the fuck does this card do? <laughs> Should we just do it for fun? <laughs> Get the statue. Yeah, maybe it's statue time. 
I know it's a lock with Tef. I was trying to think if it was like if I actually if it actually did anything without Tef. Maybe it's statue time. I'm trying to think of how they get out of this. Oh, no, 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 no. Statue is bad because they can attack with this. I need to leave a blocker back. Because if I statue have to tap out and if they just go aid hammer, then you know what I mean. Coding Dovin. Coding is cool because I can upkeep, activate, target the Saga. We're at 20. I don't want my Planeswalkers dying. I think I like Coding Dovin. And then I can just dove in this, so they have no attacks, right? Yeah, so I can go tap these three. Yeah, if I dove, I could pay, dove in this. So even if they have eight, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So dove in this. Minus for. Yeah, minus four. Coding. Play coding, bass. Start blowing up their lands. Doesn't shell us one cut off the things that you're worried about. Mm, it does, but then I can't start blowing up their lands. Yeah, I guess chalice one also cuts them off Sakarta Seed. Maybe that was better than coding. Just like wait to get the coding. I feel like this is pretty close to a lock, right? Because I have the Dovin to, to handle the only creature that can attack. They can't move the plating, they can't activate Nexus. Well, I guess the card I care about now is Ornithopter plus, um, what you call it? Ornithopter and, uh, the thing. Cigar Zade. But I even have blockers to prevent that, right? Okay, so let's uh, blow up their Saga, so they don't get a Thopter. Um, can go... Hmm. It's the best way to do this. Maybe just play Chase to just use my mana more efficiently. Let's go Jace pay. Yeah, Jace pay for Sentinel and then uptick on the Sentinel again or downtick Dovin on the Sentinel. Yeah, Jace pass. Dovin this thing because that's the only thing that can attack. Still have a blocker in case that matters. I don't think it does, but. And then I can go Tef, bounce the needle, activate Jace next turn maybe. Like having the tough static up. Yeah, potentially that's better. Okay, now they have two things that can attack. Okay. Makes things a little more interesting, potentially. Mm. Well, I could just dump my hand, right? Yeah, I just start blowing up their lands and dumping my hand. I'm gonna kill their white sources. Needle on Jace. Yeah, they have a they have a thing. I have a needle on Jace, that's why I'm not using it. But now I just dump my hand. I don't have to do anything. I'm just I don't know why I'm fetching now. This game should be locked. I mean it's definitely a lock once I get the chalice, right? I don't have to use Dovin this turn. I've demonstrated a lock. Okay, they cast the Ornithopter. I guess if they play Sigarda's Aid this turn? No, okay, now I can get Chalice. The Chalice, I think, should be a hard lock, right? Because they can't, they can't equip with Paladin because I have the Karn. They can't play Sigarda's Aid. I guess they could Prismatic Ending the Chalice. Potentially, that's their way out of this, maybe. Hmm. 
Just get knowledge pool? Well, I guess I could now. Oh, because the Teferi? Yeah. I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> Double spear cat into Shatterstorm? <laughs> Maybe. What's our actual win condition? Oh, I guess the statue, right? I'm just kill him with the statue. Ooh, play the hammer into the chalice. Love it. They're off it. Cool, let's go. Want to know, chat. Hmm. Well, this hand doesn't have any mana. It has all planeswalkers. Do you like my choice of arts for the planeswalkers, by the way? I actually like. I actually prefer the stained glass to fairy to the weeb to fairy. Weeb Narset is obviously the goat. I guess this counts as weeb Dovin. I think it's not stained glass, but this is like the best. This is one of the best arts of, of any planeswalker of all time. It's just such a good art. Can't hate on the Weep Narset. Ooh. Um. Hmm. So I can go. I guess I can just go Forest Arbor Elf. If they kill the elf, play Stomping Ground Renin Six. So I'm either putting back Renin Six or Fetch Land. I think putting back Fetch Land makes more sense. In case they have the counter spell for the Renin Six. I don't know, like, the problem with Breeding Pool into Elf, right? So hear, hear me out, Rob. Like, I guess I could have kept the fetch land, put back the second Ren, and then go Breeding Pool Elf if they kill the Elf, go stop the ground Ren and Six. But what I wanted to do was go Forest Elf and leave my options open to either Ren or Ashiok, right? So I wonder if they're playing Adnaz. How's our Adnaz matchup? Probably not great. Okay, now I now that I have a second fetch, I can just get Breeding Pool. So let's go Breeding Pool Arbor Elf. Are you ready? Oh, is this Inverter? Could be Inverter. Hmm. All right, let's go. I kind of want to go. I don't know if I should play around Field of Ruin. Do these inverter decks usually have Field of Ruin? I probably should, right? So we can go. Ah, but I have to name blue if I do that. Right. I guess I could just not cast the Sprawl. That's actually probably better, right? Yeah, that's probably better. Just play Ashiok and not cast the Sprawl. And I'm not going to activate it, I don't think. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Maybe naming blue is okay. I have Unlife. This matchup seems kind of bad. It does make their spells cost one more. I guess that's a thing. Okay, well, they're definitely... Okay, they're not inverters, so they definitely don't have... Um, what you call it? Field of Ruin. So I can just do this, name red. And then I can go Ren plus Dovin, I guess. Right, but what I'm saying is I if they were playing Inverter, I didn't want to Utopia Sprawl my non-basic in case they had Field of Ruin. Even if even with the Ashok, they can still kill my, my land, right? And that's what I was worried about. I don't know if it matters too much, but I'm not gonna activate my planeswalkers. <clears throat> You think activate Ashok against Adnaz? 
Just to try and, like, randomly spike their win conditions, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I should be activating Ashiok. Because it's not doing anything else, right? Yeah, I should have been activating Ashiok, probably. Okay, that is a good one. So let's do this. Flow to red. Seriously? 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 <laughs> word? Yeah, word. Word. <laughs> word! <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? What did we hit, by the way? Well, he has spoils. Oh, that's good. I want to hit an Oracle, but... Suspended a Lotus Bloom. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get white mana. Maybe shuffling was bad, because I don't actually want to put the cards back in my deck. That shuffle might have been bad. Let's activate Narset here. Alright, I found the best card in my deck. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven. So I can play Teferi and Jace. Wait, do I have a... Se I do have a second Breeding Pool, right? Do I have two Breeding Pools? Hold on a second. Yeah, I do. Okay, 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 okay. So let's go lead on Teferi. See if they have a pack. They might just pack this, but... Two chains! I assume if they have a pack, they probably pack this, right? Then I get to resolve Jace, which is pretty good. Alright, they packed it. So let's do this. Skip Breeding Pool. Do this. Question is, what am I doing with Jace? Wait, did I miscount my mana? I just overtap. Okay, I guess I just overtapped. Hmm. So I could Ashiok and then Fate Seal them. The problem is, I don't know what they're looking for, right? I should Ashiok them first, either way. Definitely Ashiok them first. So we hit. Two spoils. No oracles. I guess the, the thing about fate sealing them this turn is they, they have to pay for pack this turn, right? So maybe I can afford to brainstorm. I guess I can't cast any of their spells this turn, so I guess I'll fate seal them. I don't know. It's kind of close. They can grace instead of pay. Oh, because the Teferi didn't resolve, right? That's a good point. Uh, I will bottom that one, in fact. I would love to bottom that card. Right. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. I know for a fact I want to bottom that one. I definitely don't want them drawing their whole deck. But the nice thing is, Grace costs two, so they can't, like, Grace and... Cast Adnaz if they have it. Yeah, they're just gonna pay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they can't. They can't. I know they can't grace Nas, but they have this in play. They don't need grace. You know what I mean? So like letting them have the Nas is bad because they already have this in play. So I think I'm gonna start with a brainstorm. Okay, that might lock it up. That might just lock it up. Unless they have another counterspell, I guess. <laughs> Getting close to the red emblem that does nothing. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, guess Karn. They did not have a counterspell. Alright, does Karn, does Karn lock it up? 
Uh, oh, I just get puzzle box, right? Yeah, they're just locked out. Uh, I think so. It should lock them out, right? Also, I'm missing something. Because we have Narset. That should be a lock. Okay. Ashiok U. Uh, plus Ren. Did I use all my Planeswalkers? I did. All right, go. <laughs> Is this that good? I mean, you know. Torp also works as a follow-up if they went with the Asus Oracle. That's a good point, yeah. But I mean, they're just never going to have cards in their hand, right? I think this is probably a lock. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Ad player definitely deserves to lose the puzzle box, yeah. That's what I'm saying, Bolin. That's what I'm saying. Someone already tell you that Spike had only streamed for as long as he did today because of my sass to him? When did I sass him? I don't know what that means. My opponent is conceded from the game. Dope. Mm, no sideboard. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Or are we just starting drama now? Oh, that, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm just messing. I was just messing with him. I, I always like spamming Copium. I like just, Copium is a good emote to use, you know? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a S tier emote. It really is. Maybe that's Copium. Chad, did we break it? Is this deck broken? Only incorrect answers. God, these sample hands are rough. <coughs> these sample hands are rough. Okay, this hand casts all my spells. Kind of. Um, probably just gonna turn three, turn two Dovin. Back this Vraska, I think. I don't know, Vraska can kill... Vraska can kill, like, Mana Rocks and Unlife. Maybe keeping Vraska over Jace is better. Nah, because Jace finds me more gas. Yeah, I'm going to put back the Vraska, I think. It's close. Yeah, I know it kills Unlife, but... Mm-mm-mm... Uh, I guess there's a chance they have Fatal Push. So I guess I just Sprawl Name Blue to play around Fatal Push. You could also have Spell Pierce, I guess. This doesn't play around Spell Pierce, but... Raskin gives card advantage too. Eh, sort of, but I have to sack my lands, right? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. are we getting a deck tech for this i think i said you would buy it <laughs> see how many people we can scam all right let's uh let's do this i think i'm gonna get a stomping garden fairy is probably more important than Ren and six at this point Yes, I just made up a new card. It's called Stomping Garden. Have you heard of it? Can I interest you in a Beepus? You asked me that in, in somebody else's chat. I don't know what that is. I feel like that's a D's Nuts joke. I'm pretty sure that's a D's Nuts joke, right? 
Well, you got me. If it's a D's nuts joke, you, you can get me. You've successfully gotten me. It's a meme version of Pepsi. Pepsi D's nuts. I can't. Oh, that was a good draw. Just bounce this thing, right? Uh, I probably should oath and try and hit a land. It's super greedy. I do kind of need a land though. I can't stop. All right, all right, all right. Maybe this is bad because now if they have another Pierce, it's kind of rough. Yeah, this might have been stupid. All right, that might have been bad. <clears throat> We're still make, gonna be making these nuts jokes in 2022. I mean, you're gonna be making them. You know, speak for yourself. Planting tulips. All right, Phyrexian Unlife, one card in hand. Do you think it's an ad nauseum? I, I'm, I'm like a hundred percent sure it's an ad nauseum. All right, I'll take that. That's. Probably, that might be my best draw in my deck. Maybe Teferi's slightly better, but that one's up there. Karn, Karn, Karn? All right, I'll take Teferi. Your turn. Mm -mm -mm. Planting tulips on these nuts. Uh -huh. <laughs> Like, it's 2020. This is just... Somebody commented on my tweet, on my... Like, I, I posted on Twitter when I went live. Somebody commented on the Go Live tweet, and they just said it was War Stompy. And that... That's pretty accurate. This is just War Stompy. Like, look at how many cards are in our deck are from War of the Spark. Dovin, Teferi, Karn, Narset, Ashiok. <laughs> this is just... This is just War Tribal. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, we lose. Hmm... Because they haven't played a land yet, right? I don't think they've played a land. Yeah, they haven't played a land, so we lose. Dilt. Hmm. I thought my opponent was prevented from drawing extra cards. I feel like I've been cheated. I think I've been lied to. You know, it'd be a good screenshot. Hold on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna basically take everything out of outside of this screenshot. The only thing that's gonna be in the screenshot is the Narset and the amount of cards that are in their hand. <laughs> that's gonna be a good screenshot. That'll be a good one for Twitter. I'm just gonna black everything else out. Yeah, they had double they had double pierce in a turn five kill. It's pretty good. I did play humans earlier, went 4-1. The list should be available on the Stream Decker. If you do exclamation point decks, you should be able to get access to the Stream Decker page, which has all of the decks that I played previously. It should be on there. Uh, it was fun. It was a good time. Hmm. I think I have to mulligan this. Okay, this is probably as good as it gets. Turn 2 Karn. Turn to Karn. Don't spell pierce me, bro. I mean, even if they spell pierce my Karn, I just have a backup. So, yeah, this hand's fucking nuts. This hand's insane. I don't know if Karn's the best card in my deck against them, but it's either that or Teferi. It's one of those two. Karn might be a little bit better. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Sprawl down. Rip. Sprawl, sprawl, sprawl. Thoughts he's bug. Eh, alright, I'll take that. You never know when the damage might matter. Serum Visions. Alright, please no spell pierce, please no spell pierce, please no spell pierce, please no spell pierce, please no spell pierce. 
Prage, no spell pierce. Prage, no spell pierce. Alright, I'm not gonna get greedy. Don't have it, don't have it. I right, don't have it. So, what are we getting? I could chalice on zero, but they haven't suspended anything. And Lotus Bloom's turned off anyway, so it, it's only stopping Profane Tutor. Hmm. The other thing we have to consider is I don't want to get anything too good, because they might, like, if I get, like, the best card in my sideboard, they could thoughts use it. So it's either plus, minus, get, like, a Chalice or a Crypt. Crypt doesn't do anything, though. Coding. Well, the problem with getting coding here is what if they draw Thoughtseize? What if we get Torpor Orb this turn and then get coding next turn? You know what I mean? Because, like, I don't really care too much if they thought to use the Torpor Orb. I think. And that lets me play the Torpor Orb and the Coding next turn. I think I like getting the Orb here. Is Chalice on one good? Not really, I don't think. Well. Well, the reason I would want to get... If I, if I plan on playing... If I want to play Coding and Torpor Orb next turn, I want to get one of them this turn. And I think the one that I care more about is probably the Coding, which means I'm going to get the Torpor Orb this turn just so I can guarantee double spell next turn, if that makes sense. Right. My opponent has conceded from the game. Alright, I'm oh, sure. Ooh, seven mana sources, huh? Mm, no. Sand's also not great. Kahira is either a really good sign or a really bad sign. I think our matchup against Belcher is insane. Because we have Karn, Teferi, and Narset, which are all absurd against them. Uh, Control is obviously going to be a close matchup, but... <clears throat> Do I like Ds by any chance? Hmm, I've never heard of them. Tell me more. <laughs> Ds, amazing MH2 cards, I like that. I'm going to keep this and put back Beacon, because I think Beacon is going to be irrelevant against every Kahira deck. Like, it doesn't matter against Belcher, it doesn't matter against Control. Maybe they're playing Kahira Burn. I hope they're not playing Kahira Burn. Mm -mm -mm. That I hear that Sakon. Sus. Sounds sussy to me. Sounds kind of sussy to me. Ooh, Teferi or Renin 6? I think Teferi, right? Yeah. What's <laughs> <laughs> what CFB? <laughs> Uh, CFB these nuts. Snap minus. Snap my. Jeez, maybe I should have played Teferi first. <laughs> Before I say, uh, I still think I'm gonna take the other Teferi, right? Does that make sense? Maybe I just go Karn Elf. No, I'm taking Teferi. I don't know if that makes sense, but... You want to take Narset? I guess the problem with taking the second Teferi is if they don't counter it, then, uh, you know. Okay, well, they are going to counter it. Did I see the Watsi announcement? What's the, what's the Watsi announcement? Prismatic ending, both Arbor Elves. OK. 
Okay, I would like to draw Karn the Great Creator. Okay. I think I'm going to get my card out of it now. It's a pretty good card. It's a pretty good card, you guys. That's a pretty good one. They played Teferi. I can play Karn. Probably get Puzzle Box. <laughs> What's he these nuts? <laughs> Look, you get. Hey, come on. You got to at least try a little bit, you know? You can't just be like, you know, Arbor Elf these nuts. Teferi these nuts. You got to have some, some meaning to it. There's got to be some substance. I said meant to fetch a pool, GG. Uh oh. Well, that's awkward. Okay. I guess I'll give him the sad face. Do I know Doomwake? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> to ferry these nuts. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> Oh, I didn't tell. I didn't show you mail day today because it was a small mail day. Nothing. It was kind of kind of a boring mail day. Just some vistas, but mail day pog. Kind of wish I bought the old border ones. Wait, no, no, no. The reason I didn't buy the old border ones is because I couldn't find. They only come in foil, right? Yeah, they only come in foil. You can't get you can't get old border vistas non foil. Just kind of annoying. I kind of wish they like didn't do that because I really hate foils with a passion. Mmm, Oath and Ren, huh? Fuck it, let's do it. This hand's got lands and spells. <clears throat> Is a D's Nuts emote allowed? I mean, I, I don't really think Twitch would, like, be okay with me just making an emote of a ball sack. I think that's probably against TOS. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's against TOS. You know, I, I would have to imagine it is. I think I'm going to take the land in case they counter the Renin 6. <laughs> You're talking about peanuts. Oh, uh, man. Spreading seas. That doesn't matter at all. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to cast my red and six for blue and a colorless. Two mm -mm. acorns. Yeah, we can just do it like, you can just do like peanuts, right? You can probably do something with like just peanuts. Dude, I'm going to gain so much life against my blue eye control opponent. No, I wanted to gain life. Oh, uh, that actually could be an issue. Not really, but... Uh, fetch. I'm just going to start getting forest for now. Let's get to fairy. Your turn. I have so many cards in my hand. Jesus. Uh, this one. Go. Mm -mm 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 they have three cards? Probably just going to play Tef, right? Uh, yeah, let's just play tough. Well, I guess I'll Narset first. All right, take an Oath. Holy shit, I have ten cards in my hand. So many cards. Play tough, gain life, they probably counter it. That's fine. Kind of sucks that this Ren Emblem does literally nothing. Like, can we just put, like, one random Lightning Bolt in our deck for this to do something? Tef into Charm, they can't cycle. Well, they can cycle on my turn, right? Oh, they can cycle. Yeah, yeah, they can't draw two with the Charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spreading Seas just does nothing against Narset. <laughs> uh, let's Oath to try and find a Teferi. Let's guess. 
All right, they said GG's. <laughs> They've had it. Mm. Okay, well, that sucks. <laughs> so much for Dredge, huh? Uh, I gotta name Blue, right? Yeah, I gotta name Blue. We're playing against Dredge today. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit a planeswalker. <laughs> Utopia sprawl, okay. Unless they're unless they're playing a Naya deck, then that's fine. Monkey burn or fiddles. They didn't reveal Lurus. So there's no way in hell they're playing burn, right? Could be prowess. I mean, even Fiddlebender usually has a Giganta, right? Okay, probably. I don't know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> they still think you're on Ponza? I mean, I chose blue, right? I kind of have to assume I'm not Ponza if I chose blue. <laughs> yeah, I should have typed in misclick when I did, you know? I should have typed in misclick when I, after I cast the Utopia Sprawl. Just Mardu one drops, huh? Alright, Mardu one drops it is. Pog. Uh, I guess... Oh, I probably shouldn't have even played that, right? Dude, this card dumpsters me. Holy shit. This card absolutely dumpsters me. Because my deck's all fucking three and four me the cards. What do we got? Thoughtseize, Marsh Flats, Prismatic Ending Mountain. Okay. Mardu, one drops. Okay. That maybe... Oh, wait, hold on. Probably should play my fetch land. I'll just pay for the Sentinel. I still kind of have to kill the Ragavan. <sighs> I get delirium. I mean, I can't. I can't win this game. I cannot. I can no longer win this game. I'm gonna pretend like I can and maybe take a draw step, but oh, okay. So they're doing their Mardu Death Shadow with a Biting Grace. That's kind of sick. Not gonna lie, that's kind of sick. Yeah, right, even. What's that card? They get a one drop back every turn. So their deck is all one drops in that card, which makes sense. It's a cool deck. Um, I guess I'm gonna keep in the Ashiox. Maybe cut the Narsets. Yeah, they go kind of wide. Narsets kind of bad against go wide decks. And I gotta keep this hand. It's a little sketchy because, well, no, because I can just rend back the, the Heath. Even if the Arbor Elf dies, I can just rend back the Heath. So I'm gonna go Temple Garden on one. I put on this Mulligan to five. It's a good sign. No, not in Legacy. I was talking about Modern. I think I've seen people play that in Modern before. Alright, opponent stayed on 5. If they thought seize my red in 6, I can just get a blue source and play Teferi and instantly bounce. Because I have so many Teferis, I'm just going to cycle all of them, basically. Hopefully they just play a 1-drop. I can just go stop the ground and kill your thing. That'd be dope. If they kill the elf, then I'll just go stop the ground uptick. Yeah, this is this is totally fine. Yeah, easy stop the ground uptick. They could dash Ragavan at that point, but that's eh, fine with me. <clears throat> Espa Sentinel. Wait, they played the Esper Sentinel into the Renin Six? Hello? 
Uh, I'm just gonna play Dovin, I guess. Kinda wanna get a blue source just in case. And now if they have bolt, they can't they can't bolt the run unless they draw land because of Dovin. <clears throat> right, they did find a land. See if they have bolt for the Ren. <coughs> oh, they have delirium too. They could just have heat. I forgot they got delirium. Artifact creature sorcery land. So they probably have heat, right? If they were willing to run this into the Ren, they almost certainly have heat for the Ren. What does Dovin do just to hate Walker? Uh, sort of. It's like, you know, it. the minus ability is decent at, like, protecting you against, like, large constructs and, and some stuff like that. They hit a bird, so that's pretty interesting. But I can just rend the bird down. I can also Teferi, you just play Teferi and pick up the bird, which is probably better. Because then I can go uptick, rend, get back, bird, play it. <clears throat> Ten minutes still packs modern event. What is that? Just kind of line. Uh, it's like a preliminary. If you, I think if you 3-0 the prelim, you qualify for the championships or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to dove in on this thing. Or I could just bounce it with Teferi. I can go uptick, get back a land. Teferi, bounce this, play bird, which I think is fine. Yeah, I go like this. Bounce that. Play bird. Uh, I mean, I'll just let them hit me with Ragavan again. I think that's fine. Does it have Oath of Nissa? Yeah, 4x. Gotta have Oath. One mana bobble, by the way. Mm -mm. Opponent is conceded from the game. Let's go! Game three. Game number three. This hand's good. That's unreasonable. You got your near mid copy in 2008 for 150. It's pretty good. <laughs> uh, basic forest utopia sprawl on red, I guess. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter what color I name because I have the interplanar beacon, so. <clears throat> nope. Not the Fotsies bug. Tilt. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Two, three, four, five. It's gonna be a tough one to win, chat. This is gonna be a tough one to win. Alright, both the bird. That's. fine ish. It's not great, but... Yeah, I mean, I can card next turn, but, like, into this board, it's not great. And, like, my hand's kind of still loaded, so bridge is not quite on. Oh, my God. That's also Delirium. Yeah, now we're super dead. Well, we tried. We got bested by Mardu One Drops. <clears throat> Mario one drops chat too strong. Thank God that we found the uh, the counter for the five color planeswalker deck. Otherwise, this deck would be b -b 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 busted. Ragaman is a good card. The RC, also a good card. Thoughtseize, I mean, my opponent's deck is just all good cards. With the exception of Abiding Grace, obviously, but. I don't really understand why you would ever play Abiding Grace over Luris as your companion, because Luris is just the same thing as Abiding Grace, but it's just like, it doesn't require you to put Abiding Grace in your deck, right? They're just the same card. Abiding Grace also can't, back, can't get back baubles, so. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what are our... Okay. Uh, that's 
an interesting one. Okay, now what? So I can go land bridge so the DRC can't attack me. I have to do that, right? If I play Karn, yeah, I have to, I have to play land bridge. I, there's no question I have to play land bridge. It's not even close. Because this, I need this thing to not attack. <clears throat> there's no question about it. So then I go to five, go up to six with the Karn. I need to find a land. I need to find a land so the Ragavan can't attack me. That's what I need to find. Okay, that's... It's kind of a blank. That's good for us. That's step one. <clears throat> Any Robert Jace minus on DRC? Well, the DRC can't attack right now. I don't care about the DRC, right? Uh, that also probably doesn't matter. I mean, they can get back DRC and, like, start trying to find answers to the bridge, maybe. But they're going to be choked on mana, because I can play card next turn. We'll see what happens. Again, I just want to find a land. Land, I think, is my best draw. So this can't attack. <clears throat> Alright, they get back Channeler. Makes sense. That is easily the worst draw in my deck. Uh, hmm. So I can Karn for a one mana card. I can get Cage. Because Cage shuts off the Abiding Grace. It's probably my best option, right? Or Crypt. I actually don't want a Crypt because I don't want these to get non-delirious because then they can attack under the bridge. So I think I'm just going to get Cage. Is there... No, nah, if I Jace bounce the Ragavan, they can just dash it, right? I think I'm going to get Cage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What if I uptick on the bridge? Uptick on the bridge and just block the Ragavan. Is that better? It's really dicey if they have Bolt. It's really, really dicey if they have Bolt. Yeah, it's super dicey if they have Bolt, right? I probably can't afford to do that. Yeah, it's too risky, I think. I agree. <clears throat> yeah, or Heat. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You're right. Alright, go. Probably die up a Planeswalker. Right, that's what I'm worried about. If they Ragavan into, like, something good... I mean, the good thing is... No, actually, they can't cast the Planeswalker now, because these are turned off. So they, there, there's, there's, there's actually... Unless they hit like, exactly a Karn, it's the only thing they can cast off Ragavan right now, right? Because the treasure tokens are all turned off. Alright, I'm at four. They hit a land. It's good. Are my headphones dying? My headphones are dying. Uh-oh. I will plug them in. Alright, they're getting back another DRC. Oh, no, they can't because the cage. Land. Mm. Okay, now what? I... Oh, I can get a Chalice. I can just go Karn minus, play Chalice, play Teferi, uptick Teferi. They can kill Karn, but then I have the Chalice in play, right? And I have another Karn in my hand. Yeah, Explosives would be insane. Hmm. I think I'm just going to get the chalice. Down take the fairy if I regular. No, no, I can't do that. If I if I go to fairy, if I go minus chalice on one, play to fairy, down tick on this, I'm going to have three cards in my hand these can attack. So I can't do that. 
Get Heart of Kirin. Well, mm, I guess I'm not dead to a single bolt. <clears throat> I guess Heart of Kirin's not too bad, right? Because then I can crew with the Teferi to kill the Ragavan. Crypt is bad because Crypt lets them attack with Channelers. I, I kind of think I like Chalice better. I think I like Chalice more because it, it shuts them off of casting um, Lightning Bolt, which is the card I think I care the most about. I think I'm, I'm going to go for, uh, for Chalice. And then just uptick to Fairy. Like, we get hit by Ragavan again, but now um, Bolt is shut off, so I think this is fine. We're, like, pretty close to getting this game locked up. Didn't see Bridge because it's not Foil. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Plus one on Gage. No, no, no. I have to get the Chalice here. This, like, locks them out of casting most of their spells. I can't bounce the one drop. If I bounce the one drop, I draw a card of Teferi. If I don't draw a land, I have three cards in my hand, and these can attack. So I cannot minus Teferi that turn. Minus Teferi is out of the question. <clears throat> I could maybe do that next turn if I find a land, but... I wonder if they're debating on killing Karn here. They are killing Karn. That's good for me, because that buys me some time, and I have another Karn anyways. That is totally fine by me. I just want to draw fucking land. I almost think if I draw land, the game might just be locked up. Because <clears throat> then they can't attack with anything. They gained a life. Okay. Uh, that could potentially find me a land. Oh, I could just choose to not take anything, right? It's a meh. Yeah, I could just choose to not take anything. Oh, it's also there's a chalice. But that's fine, because I could just cast it and cast the card. That's fine. Yeah, I actually, I, I, I forgot about the chalice, but it didn't matter. I, I kind of wanted that to get out of my hand anyways. Um, so I'm going to uptick on, I guess, their treasure, because it's free. Uptick on Teferi. Now they can't attack with anything. Your turn. <clears throat> oh my god. We need to dodge Wear Tear on Bridge. I can get a second Bridge next turn, which I, th if I, I think I'm going to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to get another Bridge next turn. Wincon is Jace. Yeah, I'll eventually kill them with Jace. I can also eventually get, uh, once I've locked up the game, I can get Statue. Oh no, I just get the pool. If I draw a land, I get the pool, right? The pool's just game. Oh, let's fucking go. Yeah, Knowledge Pool should just be game, right? Dude. Let's freaking go! We're 4-0? Oh my god, we're 4-0 with this deck. Holy shit. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Dude, we're 4-0 with this deck. Oh my god. Oh, this is so sick! Go! <laughs> Did you break the format? I mean, maybe. Mm-mm. I have demonstrated a lock. I have demonstrated a lock. Oh, we got some good screenshots for this one. Just this. Mm 
At what point do you think they realize they can't win? So how does this work? I gotta read this card. Okay, so I can just play a Ren and Six. And then I can use the Elf to play the Jace. Yeah, okay. Jace gets exiled, I play Ren and Six. And then I can Elf into the Jace. Click the card to cat. Is this bugged? Oh no, I have to pay its mana cost? No, without paying its mana cost. No. Is this card bugged? This card might be bugged. Whatever, it doesn't matter. They're, they're locked out. I think it might be bugged. Because I clicked on the Red Insects, but it wouldn't let me cast it. I'm going to try it again. Okay. So, choose a spell to cast. I click on Red Insects. Cast Red Insects without paying its mana cost. Oh, I'm just an idiot. Okay. <clears throat> No, 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 I'm dumb. Yeah, it, it, that's weird. It's definitely bugged, but... Oh, it doesn't matter. Alright, go. No, it's not bugged. It's like, I had to, like, float mana and then untap my mana and then it let me cast the spell? That was weird. It, it's just weird. It's, like, kinda sorta bugged. All right, I can just minus for a shitty card and then cast the Jace. Uh... Okay, Jace. Look, so I go to float mana, and then if I untap mana, it allows me to cast it. It's so weird. I don't know why it works like that, but whatever. Fate seal you. Look at the cards. No. Plus. Plus on nothing. Alright, your turn. Look at the cards indeed. I have demonstrated a lock. Alright, they're gonna try and cast a spell with knowledge pool. But they can't do that. Mm, love to see it. Love some Teferi Knowledge Pool locks. <laughs> the one minute deck now, yeah. Oh, uh, man. They're probably, like, trying to figure out... They're trying to cast a spell under this, and they're like, How do I do this? Well, you can't. <laughs> now, they, now they think it's bugged. <laughs> yeah, they probably think it's bugged. I'm shocked I won this game. Me too. I got very lucky. I'm just not going to bother. I just don't care at this point. I'm just going to keep plusing Jace. I'm not even going to plus my Teferi. Like, they're literally locked out of the game, so... It doesn't matter. Who built this deck? Uh, well, it was submitted to me by Voice Gaming. I think Voice Gaming copied it from somewhere... I, th I feel like I've seen this deck around before, but... Uh, our hand is pretty good. Get Sprawl into Teferi or Renin 6 or Narset. I'm going to keep. Put him to 6. Thank you, Canister. Canister, thank you for the five months. Appreciate that. Um, so I think I'm going to get Stomping Ground. Well, so here's my issue. I should have played Breeding Pool, right? Yeah, because if I get Stomping Ground and name White, I guess I could just get Stomping Ground and name Blue. No, because I can't cast Red and... Oh, I played the wrong land. I should have played Breeding Pool, I think. I guess I could go Temple Guardian named Blue. 
So that makes sense. Temple Garden named Blue. And then I can either cast Narset to Fairy or Renin Six off of Stomping Ground. <clears throat> well, Temple Garden named Red, I can't cast Narset, right? So I think I want to go Temple Garden named Blue. Mm -mm. But I think I should have just played Breeding Pool. What does Basic Island mean? Not sure. Bot Scour me. Are they playing Mill? Oh. Mm -hmm. This Inverter? Could be Inverter, right? Uh, I think I'm just going to play Teferi. Mm -mm -mm. Counterspell. Thought Scour me again. Plus, why are they thought scouring me? Hmm. I don't know. I thought Inverter, but I feel like Inverter would want to thought scour themselves, right? <clears throat> Draw two? Oh, this is totally fine. Narset. Weeb Narset. Kind of want a Dovin. Uh, let's go get a forest and name red. What's tough? Into the story control? Maybe? I guess that would kind of make sense. Some sort of control deck. <coughs> This is a paid actor from my Twitter. I mean, not confirmed or denied. Dovin, why are you out? Why are you out on Dovin Hand of Control? Card's dope. Why do you like? Why do you not like Dovin Hand of Control? Oh, they have their own Narset. Jeez. Okay. Narset reveal Thought Scare. Are they gonna keep Thought Scaring me? Okay. All right, activate Narset. Guess I'll take Karn. Uh, yeah, I'll take Karn. So let's go uptick to Fairy. Mm, I could Chalice on one. I mean, I'm just gonna get the I'm just gonna get the pool next turn. Eh, Chalice on one is not bad. I'm definitely casting Karn. I'm 100% casting Karn. Mm, could Needle Narset, but that's kind of whatever. Could Torpor Orb, but could Coating a land. I'm going to cast Karn. I think I'm just going to get Chalice. I don't even know if it's relevant, but... Done. But yeah, the pool is just game next turn, so. Just get the pool. If I get pool, they get thoughts ease me. That's why I want to get the chalice on one. I don't want them to. Oh. Oh, but that doesn't matter, right? <laughs> they also have no cards in hand. <laughs> oh my god. This is insane. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're up a game. We're up a game, chat. <laughs> okay. No sideboard. No sideboard. Who needs the puzzle box anyways? Yeah. Oh, we were going to get the knowledge pool. Yeah, the Narset was the it was the Weeb Narset. No, there's zero and zero. Yeah, this could not have been avoided in any in any way, shape, or form. Could not have been avoided. <clears throat> if 
compared against the single other Narset game room. <laughs> I only have two Narsets in my deck, too. They probably have four in their deck. I have Narset in my hand, should I keep? Alright, this hand's good. Put back a forest. This hand's kind of sketchy if they, like, thought he's my Oath of Nyssa. All of Storm Giants. Birds was a pretty good draw, not gonna lie. I might just play the Dovin on turn two. That scoured me, okay. I, I, I kind of want to lead on Dovin. I'm not sure if that's right. Okay, Sunken Ruins. They have Fatal Push. Because the Dovin makes it so they can't play... Well, I guess they could just Narset on three... And then fourth land days I'm doing on four. So maybe the Dovin's bad. <clears throat> yeah, we need a Narset. I kind of assume they're going to kill my birds, but not sure. Hmm. All right, maybe I'll play Teferi first. Get the Breeding Pool. <clears throat> I mean, I think Teferi's worse if they have a counterspell here, because I think I'd rather bait the counterspell with Dovin, especially drawing the second Dovin. But also, like, if they don't have a counterspell... Oh. Well, I'm just going to bounce their Snapcaster Mage, right? I don't really care if they want to spend their turn casting Thought Scour. Oh, that was a really good draw. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so they can snap Thought Scour if they want. They might just play Narset. Now they're gonna snap Thought Scour. Okay. Hmm. So if I card uptick, they can kill Teferi. I could just go Oath and Dove in the Snapcaster Mage. I actually think I like that better. Let's Oath first. Take Ashiok. Yeah, I think I like Dovening to protect the to protect the Teferi. Are they really a paid actor? I cannot confirm or deny if my opponent is a paid actor. I cannot confirm or deny. I joined the queue, and my opponent also joined the queue. That's as, that's as much as I'm gonna say. We happen to join the queue at the same time. Five O D's nuts. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm still chat, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> this is the deck I get a trophy with? Come on. This is the deck I get a trophy with. Confirmed paid actor. Paid actor confirmed, huh? Alright, let's uh Holy crap. <clears throat> Holy shit. Voice gaming with the 25 gifted subs. Dude, I don't even know. That's that's unreal. Thank you so much for the 25 gifted. Dude, I, I just hope this gets posted now. 